How's it going everybody, Giovanni Orlando here and in this video I will be teaching you about the 74LS00 chipset which is better known as the NAND gate. This chipset contains a total of 14 pins where the 7th pin is reserved for the ground and the 14th pin is reserved for the VCC. In it you will find 4 independent gates, each of which perform the logic NAND function. The inputs are labeled A and B and the output for each gate is labeled Y. As you will see soon enough, the NAND gate is basically an AND gate whose output is then negated. Not to be confused with an AND gate whose inputs are negated, as for that would be an OR gate equivalent instead of a NAND. Now we shall proceed by generating the NAND gate's truth table. As I mentioned previously, we need to state the inputs which we will label variables A and B. We shall also create a comments column which we will use to present the process that is occurring internally and we will also make an output column for our variable y. Since we have n equals 2 inputs, using the 2 to the n formula we calculate that there are a total of 2 to the second power which equals 4 possible combinations or scenarios to handle. The first is when both inputs are equal to 0 or low, the second one is when the A value is equal to 0 and the B value is equal to 1. The third is when A is equal to 1 and B equals to 0. And the fourth one is when both the inputs are high. Now if you watch the 74LS08 and video that I made, you probably already know this. Otherwise you can just click on the annotation and then it will open in a new tab. Basically what the end does is that it produces an output of 1 or high if both the inputs are high as well. Anything else will make it produce an output of 0 or a low. After getting out of the AND gate, you apply the NOT operator in order to produce the NAND gate's final result. For our first case, when both our inputs are low, we have 0 AND 0 which results in 0 and the complement of 0 outputs a high. When we have A equal to 0 and B equal to 1, 0 and 1 produces an output of 0 and the complement of 0 is equal to 1. When we have A equal to 1 and B equal to 0, 1 and 0 produces an output of 0 and the complement of 0 is equal to 1. And last but not least, when both our inputs are high, high and high, or 1 and 1, produces an output of 1 and the complement of 1 is equal to 0. Now I shall open a Logisim simulation where I will demonstrate our NAND gate's truth table and I will also compare that NAND gate to its equivalent which would be an AND gate followed by a NOT operator. Let's get started. Here on Logisim the first thing we will do is set up a couple of pins. Both of these will be facing south and the label will be located at the north position. The first one will be for our input A, and the second one will be for our input B. After we have both of these pins laid out, we will select an AND gate, and we will place it there, followed by a NOT operator. Now we will look in the gates folder for our NAND chipset, and we will place it right below the AND. Since the default number of inputs in Logisim is 5, we will have to switch that down to 2 since we are dealing with the quad 2 input NAND gate. We need to make it as true to life as possible. Then we will connect the wires to each of these inputs. You need to make sure that these are indeed connected accordingly or else you will not get the desired output. Once you got the wires all lined up, we will search in the I.O. folder for an LED or a light emitting diode and we will connect it to each of the arrangements. And now, using the index finger tool, we will go through each of the possible cases 
in order to test out our truth table and prove that it was indeed correct. We also wish to demonstrate that our first setup, which is the AND followed by the NOT operator, is indeed equivalent to our NAND gate. As you can observe, when both inputs are low, as they pass through the AND gate, the output is low, but when they reach the NOT operator, the output becomes high. When A equals low and B equals high, through the AND gate, the output is low, and after the NOT operator, the output is high. When A equals high and B equals low, through the AND gate, the output is low, and once it passes the NOT operator, it becomes high. And last but not least, when both our inputs are high, after they pass through the AND operator, the output is high, but when it reaches the NOT operator, the output is indeed low. As you can see for all the cases, both setups have delivered the same result, proving that our truth table was indeed correct. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. For any comments or questions, you may contact me on the following places. At Twitter, at Giovanni0918, or at Google+, Plus at plus Giovanni Orlando i7. Thank you for watching, have a nice day.